The original Fairchild 670 compressor was a monster, a six-rack space unit with 20 tubes and 11 transformers. It's achieved legendary status, and if you can find a working vintage unit, they go for stratospherically high prices. Avid has modeled both a two-channel 670 and a different single-channel 660 unit, but the 660 plug-in can also be run in stereo for two variations of the classic Fairchild sound. The hardware Fairchilds used a variable mu design where compression is controlled by specialized varimu tubes whose bias is remotely controlled to change gain dynamically. That design element, along with the hefty complement of tubes and transformers, is responsible for the Fairchild's highly desirable response and rich analog character. Fairchild compressors were a favorite at Abbey Road Studios, where they were used regularly on Beatles recordings and many other classic albums. The Fairchild plug-in closely follows the controls of the original. There are knobs for input gain and threshold, and a multi-position switch labeled Time Constant provides different paired attack and release settings. The first six positions follow the original settings, with the times for settings 1 to 6 running from fastest to slowest. The attack time on the hardware units is fast, like with the 1176, and on the original, settings 5 and 6 include a program-dependent release characteristic, with faster release times for brief peaks and much slower release times for sustained high-level passages. This chart shows the original's attack and release times, which we can safely assume are also implemented here. Avid added two extra time constant settings to the plugin, positions 7 and 8, that were not on the original hardware. Apparently, they're variations of position 2, with the release tweaked for more subtle response, intended for vocals and program material. As you can see, there's no ratio control. As with many vintage compressors, the soft knee response results in a ratio that varies depending on signal level, increasing for louder signals. Avid also included a key feature that is on the original 670 hardware, the option for either left-right stereo processing or lateral vertical processing. Lateral vertical is another name for MS, or mid-side processing, where the left and right channels are matrixed into sum and different signals, allowing compression to be applied separately to centered elements, the mid-channel, and side elements, like wide-panned instruments in a mix or reverb and ambience. That's how stereo information has always been encoded on vinyl records for mono compatibility. The lateral vertical designation refers to the motion of the stylus in the groove. MS, or lateral vertical processing, can be useful on stereo signals like drums, but its most common application is probably on full mixes, where it's a popular method for tweaking problem mixes, possibly offering somewhat better control over some of the individual elements in a stereo mix. MS-capable plug-in processing is one of the very few features that's not included in Pro Tools itself or any of the other additional Avid plugins, so its inclusion here for MS compression is a welcome addition to the Fairchild 670 emulation. Next up, Vintage EQ from the Pultec EQ bundle. 